Concentrate on proper arm position and feeling the opponent's plural force. Tan Sao, a low palm thrust, and Bong Sao comprise the movements executed by partner A. Jam Sao, a straight punch. And Foxal comprise the movements executed by partner B to match those of partner A. Partner B's Foxal rests on A's Tang Sao. Partner A's Tang Sao converts to a low palm thrust, which is blocked by B's Jam Sao. Partner A's Tan Sao changes to a Bong Sao to block B's straight punch. Both partners perform these movements in response to each other's complementary techniques with a firm yet relaxed flow of force. After achieving proficiency with single arm Chi Sao, begin double arm Chi Sao. The first stage is Pung Sao or rolling hands. Both partners, A and B, perform the same arm movements. The right arm alternates between Tan Sao and Bong Sao. in a Foxal position, which in turn alternates from a high to a low position. Partner B's left high Foxal rests on A's right Bong Sao, while A's low Foxal rests on B's right Tan Sao. Both left arms in Fok Sao position rest on the other's right arm, which changes from Tan Sao to Bong Sao. Both partners roll their arms up and down in unison. Avoid stiffness and rigidity, and never try to use sheer muscle force to overpower your opponent. With practice, the feeling for rapid directional changes in the forces of an opponent's attack or defense will give you a sense for when to yield, resist... As Master Wong detects his opponent's right Tan Sao has deviated too far from the center line, his left Fox Sao changes into a punch to the opponent's solar plexus. Detecting Master Wong's forward force, his opponent blocks and traps Master his arm. Master Wong's left Fuk Sao crosses over and traps his opponent's left hand as he presses forward with a right palm thrust to the throat. His opponent counters the technique by parrying the right palm attack with a right grab and trapping Master Wong's arms with a Bong Sao. As his left high Fuk Sao reaches across to grab his opponent's left hand, Master Wong's right Tan Sao disengages into a punch. He grabs his opponent's right Tan Sao, pulling him forward and locking the opponent's left hand, he executes a left punch.
Feeling himself being pulled forward, the opponent employs body shifting to divert Master Wong's forward surge of force. Then, his right Park Sal pins Wong's left arm. All Wing Chun's offensive techniques, in particular the straight punch, which is the style's major weapon, begins from the center line. Notice your fists travel along the same path which is perpendicular to the center line. Wing Chun punching is always direct, since the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Your fist originates at your center line and is delivered directly to his center line. In general, your opponent's nose is the target. Wing Chun employs shifting, allowing the body to revolve on its center line axis. Defensively, shifting helps you roll with punches that may get by your blocks. Offensively, shifting creates various angles for attacks that will subtly penetrate an opponent's defenses. Body shifting also increases the distance of your arm's reach. Shifting quickly magnifies punching power since tremendous force is generated from sudden torque in the waist and hips.